मैं ब्राजील के राष्ट्रपति और मेरे मित्र लूला डी सिल्वा को हार्दिक शुभकामनाएं देता हूं और मैं उनको प्रेसिडेंसी का गेवल सौंपता हूं I would like to congratulate Prime Minister Narendra Modi for the efficient leading of the Indian presidency of the G20 and for the excellent work done in preparing this summit. And also, with all the care that he and they gave us in these days that we spent with you. I thank India for its efforts to give voice, for giving voice to the topics of interest to emerging economies. So I would also like to um, give my salute to our friend, the representative of the African Union, who is a member of G20. Well, the Brazilian presidents of the G20 has three priorities. The first one is social inclusion and fight against hunger, energy transition, and sustainable development in its three aspects, the vector social, the economic and environmental vector. And thirdly, the reform of global governance institutions. All these priorities are part of the Brazilian presidency motto, which says, building a fair world and a sustainable planet. Two task forces will be created, the Global Alliance Against Hunger and Poverty and the Global Mobilization Against Climate Change. We, knew we need to redouble our efforts to achieve the goal of ending world hunger by 2030. Otherwise, we will be facing the biggest multilateral failure in recent years. We cannot let geopolitical issues hijack the discussion agenda of the various G20 levels. We are not interested in a divided G20. Only through joint action may we face the challenges of our days. We need peace and cooperation instead of conflict. The path that will take us from New Delhi to Rio de Janeiro will require a lot of dedication and commitment from everyone. The technical groups, I will be very much honored to welcome you all to the Rio de Janeiro a summit in November of 2024. And before I hand the hammer here, I would like to thank very much to Prime Minister Modi and to thank to the Indian people for the competence that they had for organizing this event. And I would like to say, Prime Minister Modi, that I personally am very much touched emotionally when I want to pay a homage to our dear Gandhi that we paid a homage today. Everybody knows that in my political life, Mahatma Gandhi has great meaning because the struggle f f with nonviolence was a role model that I followed for many decades when I was in the labor movement. And that's why I very much touch and emotional when, and I'd like to thank you for the opportunity to pay this homage that we did today. Uh, and I'd like to say to all of you that Brazil will take the chair of the G20 and we will make a tremendous uh, endeavor to manage to at least try to do something as the same that our brothers and sisters from India did. Thank you very much.